Welcome to episode 17 of the Pack Life Podcast. I'm your host, Bruiser Carter, along with family, friends, and everything else. We have Lil B to my left. Yes, sir. We have Cut Carter to my right. Cut through. And we have a special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? What's up? I'm Stan. Dang, where the mic at? <laughs> I feel like I'm at church with this. <laughs> <laughs> Finna rock a solo. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing? Chilling. Good. Just, yeah. That's it? Yeah. Nothing else? Nothing else. I ain't see y'all boys in like a week and a half? Yeah. Got relaxed, ready? Yeah. Back on a regular l- schedule time. Got a, got a lot to get into. Let's start with the NBA playoffs. Let's start with the Western Conference, though. We give it to our Warriors and analysts. As the Golden State Warriors sweep the Portland Trail Blazers in four games without Kevin Durant and e- and Andre Iguodala in game four. How did the Warriors do it? Or Boogie. Easy. Just stop Dame and CJ. Just showed that they didn't need KD at all. That's I mean, all it showed. Y'all yeah. don't know basketball. The reason the Warriors won, Day Day. That's Draymond Green, if y'all don't know who that is. So they don't They don't know Saginaw. who that is. I forgot to give you a Dray- 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 Stand up, Saginaw. Stand up, from Michigan. He from Detroit. Oh, you like Draymond? Draymond. Saginaw. Well, I'm saying he from right. Michigan. Right. <laughs> Saginaw, stand up. So shout out my Day Day. Day Day is definitely doing his thing, and he's the reason why I mean, the Warriors swept the Blazers. Yeah. Period. He was pushing the ball every game. He played his best series. I hate Draymond. In a long time. I like Draymond. I'm a boy. <laughs> He I mean, damn. In the yeah, finals, they got Boogie he, he coming back. Me. I'm easy irritable. So they got Boogie coming time. back. KD ain't gonna play in the beginning, but he gonna be there. Maybe mm-hmm. game three and four. So when they play the, well, I feel like they gonna play the Raptors at this point, based on everything that's happened. I know they are. This is a so, recurring theme on here, but do the Warriors really need KD, bro? No. no. I mean, they don't. They oh, he finally admit it. Oh, finally, they don't. Finally admit they it. only need him to be one person. LeBron. And that was LeBron. Yeah. And get him off of one team. That's the thunder. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they play way much they better really without him. They really tricked him. They really, like, fin- he really got finessed and weak. They play way much they better without him. They tricked him off his team where he really could have beat them. He, they, he never needed to go there. That's what I'm saying. Then he go to them to beat the only other team. There's really only three teams for in the NBA. Like, he's still not even compete. happy about it. Yeah, he, like, if he was happy, he would act like it. He don't even act like he's happy. Because he know them ain't his rings. Right. I don't care about the finals MVPs. Like, yeah, I mean, you showed up. You should show up. But yeah, them not your rings. That team was winning rings before that. They exactly. had 73, 73 win wins. Yeah. Up 3-1 against the uh, in the NBA Finals. Nobody want to talk about it. And it's like, it makes you not like them. Like, like the team. Because it's really not like they don't need them. Like, they was good without them. And even people like, they got KD to beat LeBron. They went seven games with LeBron without them. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? You know, you, ne- you never really need him. You was that close. And you saw uh, the next year odds. They said the Warriors still leading. And that they have them without, like, Durant on that team. They have them still winning the championship. They still got a good chance to win. You can so, take away. Yes. You know, it's only two people you can't take away from that team. Well, three. It's just the, them big three. That's why they need to pay them and keep them. They and never need a boogie either. And Steve Kerr is a good coach. It don't matter what big man they have, they still that. be balling. Yeah, I ain't give Steve Kerr's credit when we did, like, top five head coaches. But the way he be, mo- like, motivating players off the bench, Jordan Bell, Quinn Cook. I can motivate people that shoot yeah, right to now. Like, to like, to like, to like, to was put the icing on Mark Jackson's work. <laughs> What's next for uh, Portland? They see the expectations. Uh, Nobody they thought they'd they make it this far. They're not going to make it that far next year. No. Season. Okay, so they need say, one what's more. The big man? Nurkic? Yeah. yeah. So Nurkic comes back next year. Off a bad That's injury, a, though. Then wasn't the Achilles? It was no. ACL. I thought he broke his. Fibula? I thought it was a compound injury. Oh. He broke his leg. Yeah. Some, okay, two, two bones in his leg. So he'll be, he'll be straight. But yeah, so he'll come back. That was their probably their second best player this yeah. year over uh, CJ. Okay. So and maybe they can add some pieces in free agency. I don't know what they budget. I don't know who will go there. <laughs> they I mean, why bring not? Back. They made it to the conference finals. They proved they proved they have some talent. So. Me, Myers Leonard showed up. They extended uh, Terry Stotts, and I believe they extended their uh, either their president or GM. So I think they're. I think they need to add more pieces. Yeah, if I mean they, they need to, more they need to yeah. keep they need to keep Rodney Hood though and Seth. Yeah, I mean just because he showed bench. up this season, <laughs> <laughs> he might not show up next season. Rodney Hood is there, but if they have the money, they should and get us. Rodney Hood like want a deal. He gonna try to get more money next season because he, you know, he did a qualifying offer, so he only made like three or uh, one or three million this year. Well, that's kind of wait. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for them to make it back to the Western Conference yeah, next Western. season because Lakers gonna be coming back. Yeah. Are we? 
<laughs> it's looking rough. It's looking real rough. I don't see us signing nobody. Yeah, I think they'll Jimmy get, already said he's coming. That 80, that I, don't that 80. you know, That's I don't want Jimmy. That's even worse. Why you don't want Jimmy? I don't think. Man, no. I'm going to make say something, man. <laughs> <laughs> he was Jimmy balling in the playoffs. I like Jimmy. Jimmy Dude, he was trash. the Sixers closer. But I had the argument with my cousin because he was saying, bro, so you telling me Kyrie, Jimmy, and LeBron not enough? I was like, no, they aren't enough. Okay, I'll Jimmy take really Kyrie. can't even shoot like that. I'll take Kyrie because him and LeBron. Are, you don't, you don't they, think the AD like trade going through? It's not. They're not going to trade him to the Lakers, period, at all. You have to wait another year to get AD. Oh. They're not going to trade him to the Lakers. So what do you think? Do you think AD will still be on the Pelicans no. next season? No. Uh, it's he possible. might start Boston, off with them. Boston and New York. I think AD gone by July. Before the draft or after the draft? Before the draft. He gone before the draft for okay. sure. So I think July first, yeah, literally, like July first. As soon as the soon as he can be traded, I think he's gonna be traded right before the draft or the day of the draft. It's gonna be something like the that. The draft in June. Yeah. The draft in June. Yeah. Before like it's like a June twenty third. It's a week. Yeah. June. Yeah, it's yeah, before it's free agency. So, yeah, he probably be traded before that then, before the draft. So June twenty third, I think it's the NBA draft. So yeah. Uh, Why you don't rock with Jimmy though? Jimmy, my boy. I like Jimmy. June twentieth, NBA draft. June twentieth, okay. So yeah, I'm not saying like June he's not a good player, but they having a meeting in LA this weekend. Probably. He's not a good teammate. You Jimmy? Yeah. He motivates players. He he just don't, he expect the best out of them. But people don't. Some people get. And Jimmy is inconsistent. He's strong. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying he's he not could, worth a match. Don't, I don't know if he could take a back seat on a team like to like being the motivator. Cause LeBron not gonna let him like out out talk. Like LeBron's the motivator, so you can't come in and be like. Trying to press people, but they do need that defensive. I think on the defensive side of the ball, he would be like perfect because I don't think they're getting Clay. Fit. It's not a good fit. Clay is damn. Yeah, I don't think Clay, Clay would be a great fit. He's not even eligible well, for that five years, two hundred some million. Well, I don't know. He didn't make Clay, all NBA uh, team. He ain't making up. I know. So that's why that match deal went down. The reason Clay didn't make the All NBA team because he on a team with three other All Stars, well, four other All Stars. Uh, Boogie don't. He still mm-hmm. play. Boogie and Draymond not really. <laughs> I mean Boogie used to be Don't get me wrong But now he I don't know I mean he still could be it's Yeah I mean injuries. we'll see I don't know that injury The Achilles injury Usually most people Don't even come back from it And play good Well it's not even or his, his size injury, it's, his, uh, it's his quad He injured in the uh, first round Of playoffs So he Oh yeah he told I'm saying but once you do Tear something like Super important Yeah Everything else yeah, start yeah. messing up too That's why Derrick Rose Kept getting hurt Right It was like oh it's the, He's tearing the same thing But I'm like on top of that you got a weak area, so everything else might break down too. Plus, you overcompensate. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, just from playing the game at our level, mm-hmm. you hurt some. You're gonna try not to put as much pressure, pressure or on weight right. on that part, which is gonna cause the other side to get hurt too. So, I mean, I, hope, I wish you wish him the best, but yeah. what do you think he's going for agency? Boogie? Yeah, he gonna Flippers? stay. He's gonna stay. I don't think he's gonna stay. I don't think he can go for him. One I think year. he's trying to run another year deal. He's not gonna get no money from nobody this year. He's got I think he'll again. get another one year deal. He Unless somebody gives him a, like a ton load of money. A couple of my Laker friends keep saying they want Boogie, and I'm like, why? We had a chance to get him last year. He wanted to play for the Lakers last year. The Lakers didn't want to sign him. Boogie need to find a way to reunite Lakers, with John Wall. See, that's the problem with the Lakers organization. No. It's, the, it's the it's the G the office the front office. Is terrible. <laughs> oh, it's trash. The prestigious y'all still prestigious like you know one of the. Ever since Dr. Bus died. Yeah, but once once he died, trash. it was like, it went straight down here. <laughs> and his, like, his kids clearly don't know what they're doing. Damn, prayers up. And like, they, I thought we was going to be in turmoil in New Orleans <laughs> when he died. Are. But we, our owner actually yeah, she making really did, strides really, yeah. and stuff, yeah. So, and she already <laughs> said, like, they're not leaving. Because two people keep trying to put us in a Seattle conversation. I said, we're not going to Seattle. If anybody go to Seattle, it need to be Phoenix or, um, or, the Clippers. or the Clippers. I'm saying. Somebody got two teams, like, why would we leave? Because does anybody go to Pelican game? <laughs> <laughs> they go to the games, and season ticket prices, season ticket sales is up when we went to the playoffs and swept the Trailblazers. And then they went up on the price again, but then AD made that statement about him wanting to be traded. And then people was mad because they bought season tickets, but he wasn't playing. But now, you're going to have a reason to keep the season tickets. Because everybody knew who coming. Hey... He's going to flop. <laughs> you think Zion going to be a bust? He's not going to be like the next generation changing player. Like He's not going to be like the next like LeBron or Jordan or Kobe. Like You just consider him the GOAT. He's not going to be that. So who do you think it is? 
he's gonna be like Amari Stoudemire was. Oh. Before the injuries. <laughs> no, no, before the injuries. Oh. Before the injuries. <laughs> Amari was at an MVP level before his injuries derailed his career. Mm. So who like, I'm Amari saying who you think gonna be the, the, the generational talent? In a draft? In this draft? Nobody. Or like nobody? Nobody in this draft. You don't think nobody? Not a single person? No. Nah. Not in this draft. You think next draft? Wiseman? Who knows? Come back to this old I just, discussion. I, I just don't see <laughs> I'm, 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 going, I'm I think we're gonna trade Anthony Davis to the Knicks. I'm more than positive that's where he's going. So once he get traded to the Knicks, then we have RJ Barrett in Zion. I mean, that's a possibility because Knicks have what the th- number three pick. Three. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. That's why I had them. I have when I rank it, I say Knicks had the best to offer, then the Lakers, then the, then the Celtics. I'm not really sold the on the Lakers Celtics. Have I don't better players though. Then. Than the Knicks. Yeah, okay. but y'all don't that pick. You know what I'm saying that pick it's make a difference because it's three and four. That oh, one yeah. spot is the big difference though, because you know it's Barrett is the third spot for yeah. sure. Or he, if he goes second, Morant. I'm saying, but I don't think All the Grizzlies would take yeah. RJ Barrett over Morant. I think they're gonna take Morant. They go. Mike they Conley gonna be traded in the next couple days too. I think. Yeah, I think Conley's out of there. <laughs> I think Mike Conley going to the to the Heat like they've been saying. Mm. So, the Knicks deal. All I want out of them is they the got pick for this year. I want Knox. Okay. Oh, Dennis Miami Smith. Has hmm? Miami has Dragic. Why would he go there? He's contract up. Oh. I think he's contract up now. Him and Whiteside. He was trash. Two bad deals. He finessed Riley. him out of so Two much money. Two bad deals. Pat Riley. He finessed signed him off out of so much money. So I, if I'm the Heat, like just looking at the Heat, I'm keeping Bam out of bail. He going to start. I'm keeping Justice Winslow, Josh Richardson. Oh, nah. He, uh, he got one more year. Oh. What's buddy that jumps option, out the gym for them? Uh, he's opting option. in. Yeah, nineteen million. He's gonna option. You know he's not getting anywhere else. Oh no. Goran gonna know. stay. So then they're gonna try to trade him too. Nah, nobody want that money. Unless somebody just wants to Like, money if off they trade him for Mike Conley, because Mike Conley contract is five years, thirty million. Like Derek Jones Jr. the one that be jumping. Yeah, that boy got hopped, yeah, man. He, he, he <laughs> wait, what happened with him? <laughs> nah, I'm just saying he got hopped. Oh yeah. He actually played well in Miami too, cause like when he was with Phoenix, all he did was dunk. But now he be shooting threes and everything. Yeah. And he played defense. Miami got a, a nice little squad to see play. When they came down here, I went to the game. Yeah, they Miami, was, was Miami nice. nice. Josh Richardson, one of my favorite players. Speaking of the Eastern Conference, the Eastern Conference Finals, Game 6 tonight. The Bucks the Raptors. versus Raptors, Game 6 in Toronto, Air Drake. I'm switching it. I'm calling Audible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> had to call Audible. You're lucky the soundboard not working. Man, look. <laughs> I picked, I had this, but, bro, I didn't even want the Bucks. I had the Sixes coming out from the jump, so let's talk about that. Well, then the Raptors you, beat the Sixers, so by default, so by default, I gotta ride with them now. You picked the Sixers, but the Sixers is supposed to. We you saw the, how they lost. The Sixers, the Sixers, Sixers is the supposed to be out, coming yeah, out the Jesus east. Christ. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't even thinking about Ben not being able to shoot. I'm thinking about, MB, but MB was inconsistent. Jimmy was. That's Greg Oden 2.0. <laughs> Jimmy was there. <laughs> like I don't understand why the Philly couldn't. And it was game. It was right there. It was a game away. It was a buzzer but game. if they would played the Bucks, the way the Bucks looked early on, the Bucks would have killed them. Like the Bucks, Bucks would have killed the Sixers, and I'd have been heartbroken. The Bucks are gonna win this series. What series? This Eastern Conference Finals. No, they not. They gonna need somebody like three other. Like people Malcolm Brogdon had to drop thirty. No, nah, nah Middle, Middleton gonna need to show up. They need three people to score like between. 18 to 20 points outside of Giannis scoring like 40 to 50 points. Ever since the adjustment. That Kawhi adjustment. Kawhi yeah. been locking Giannis down. That Kawhi adjustment was like, oh, Ever since that adjustment. We've been holding back. We were trying to make him play off of you, but now we're going to put him on you. Because they figured it out. Like, Giannis plays out of control. Like, he just drives to the hole. And, then, and they crowd him. Yeah. He yeah. forced a turnover or is a charge. Like, yeah. he has nothing else to do. Like, he, he just can drive to the hole. Yeah, he can that's what they're looking for every time. Y'all really trust the baby dinosaurs? Yes, and they can't stop. This, Kawhi. You know, it's you know Kawhi. what this gonna do, and even like you know, I don't think the NBA be reading and stuff. But even if it was, you know how much money they gonna make off Toronto? It's a whole country, like that whole country about to be teed up just because they made it to the NBA Finals. And they go, and if they win it, which I don't think, I mean, I hope they win it because I really don't like the Warriors. <laughs> but if they win it, you know how crazy they gonna like people, Canadian people are not gonna let us do that down at all. They're, They're like the dead. one team we got beat all twenty nine. You think the Bucks all lose three straight? All team. I mean, yes. both straight. Yes, crazy. They lost. They never lost one straight all season. They no, always. They never lost three straight. All they season. never lost two straight. I mean, yeah. They never lost back to back games all season. And now they lost three straight. So you don't think they're gonna come out motivated, Coach Bud? Come out and make adjustments. You know how, bro. 
Well, I almost you know. cursed Coach Bud out. You know? <laughs> you said that. Their bench is outscoring them every time. Last past two Danny games. Danny Green ain't have no points last game, and they Fred, still won. Fred Van Fleet coming off the bench, dropping 20. Norman Powell coming off the bench, dropping 16. Norman Powell wasn't even in the rotation. Leave my cousin alone. <laughs> <laughs> Norman Powell wasn't even in the rotation. Now he going stupid. Kyle Lowry and they don't even have OG. OG plus. hurt, right? Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They still doing all that. I mean, hey, they make it to the finals. They they proved everybody that was saying, y'all snakes, y'all let the DeRoz- They make it to the finals, everybody going to forget that DeRozan even went there. Nah. Man. If they make it? You yeah. think if they make it to the finals, they won that Ka- uh, DeRozan yes. Kawhi trade? Because they never was going to make it. But if Kawhi leave, did they still win the trade? They had one great year. I, just don't see I mean, finals. they can put it like this. Even if Kawhi do but lose, I'm saying, they still never would have made the finals. If they make it to the finals and lose, it still is not like they still if Kawhi, the finals if Kawhi with leaves, it's like, oh, back at square one again. They were going to be at square one regardless. They were going to get here one way or another. So even if they get there, now it's better now than to get it, get there two years later after you wasted however much DeRozan make. Wait, what? Say that again? <laughs> I'm putting it like this. If they had DeRozan, yeah. they would have never made the finals. I disagree. No, I agree. No, I agree. Well, in the LeBronless East, they would not made it to the finals. No, no. come on, bro. The Rosen can't look what Larry doing. The Rosen can't make them shots. Kawhi doing. Look what Larry doing. The Rosen ain't defending. Like. He not. He not playing. Yeah, he not locking Giannis Kawhi. down. Yeah, he not locking Giannis down. Not doing none of that. Oh, and oh, is OG still hurt? If he hurt, they, you know nobody could guard Giannis. It's just the whole dub, bro. And <laughs> they lost by two. Wow, but still, you know what I'm saying they. They needed to do that trade because in their eyes, it's like, this is our window. This is our only chance. Because they probably got word like, LeBron really about to leave. So we really, this is our only chance to make it. I'm going to tell you why the Bucks are going to beat the Raptors. Oh, my God. They're not going to beat them. MVP. I don't care. Most valuable player. I don't see James Harden out there. They're exposing him, though. I don't see James Harden out there. James Harden just choked game five and six. It doesn't matter. It's the regular season award. It's not the playoff award. They had the best record in the East. He had an average of double double. The Rockets average wouldn't average? have been in the playoffs if it wasn't for the Harden. Bucks. Would have made it to the playoffs without Giannis. Facts. But, but it's in the East. They, it's true. they probably could have. It's the no, East. They weak. It's not that weak. They wouldn't. The Pistons would have. No, the Pistons made it. So they would. Who would have made yeah. it? The Heat. The Heat would have no made it. No comfort, Detroit. Let's say uh, Giannis was out first game against game. Uh, the first round against the Pistons. Who wins that series? The Pistons. The Bucks? No. The Bucks will get at Blake least one Griffin or two games. You know he who wins that series? Nobody wins that series. <laughs> Blake wasn't even playing in the beginning. Wins that <laughs> Blake, wasn't was playing in the beginning though. Blake Griffin was hurt. <laughs> Blake would have kept Giannis playing. Was out. Been just Blake terrible. wasn't even playing in the beginning of the series. He no, only he only played. missed one game. He missed the first one. He only missed one yeah. game. That's what I'm saying. But he still wasn't. Are oh, you saying that that would have been the Pistons versus the Bucks with no Giannis and no Blake? In the game one, I'm saying like the Bucks would have. Probably still win that game. Drummond probably would have had. They would have won that series. Yes, no, the game. <laughs> wow, you want to see a Drummond between Brook Lopez? You said, <laughs> you said Giannis out game one. Drummond Sign me up for that right away. That would have been the most boring game to watch. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Drummond would have had thirty and thirty, and Reggie Jackson would have probably tried to go. Stupid. And I think if uh, Harden was out that first round against Utah, I think the Rockets would still win that series. No. Yes. No. No, no one's. No. Because Harden was scoring all the points. Chris Paul wasn't even scoring in the first. In Harden first was series. struggling game three, four, and five. But he they won. Because of contributions from Gordon and Paul. He, and the thing is about when you say he's struggling, he still always had 20 plus. Oh, yeah. You talk, you talk <laughs> about free throws. I'm saying he's scoring. <laughs> he's going to score, though. Yeah, even if he's struggling, throws. he's going to score. Like, you know he's going to score 20 off top. That's like automatic 20. Automatic 25. To close out this NBA playoffs discussion, who's going to the finals in the East? Raptors. 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 Versus Warriors. Bucks versus Warriors. I don't know what you, you see. You want to be wrong? What do you right. see? What you see? I see a matchup between Giannis and Katie. I, I mean, I'm saying. I, see, I'm I can saying, see the league. I see the Kawhi versus KD. I'm saying in that but Bucks team. KD's not even about. playing the first two games. Kawhi is on a revenge tour. This hey, is a big, so. big the everybody, the whole <laughs> the league, league, bro. Because y'all they trashed him. broke his leg. They broke his ankle, bro. You saw what Snoop said? He is coming to kick. Snoop, 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 said. Snoop Dogg said he talked to Kawhi. He said Kawhi was like in the locker room. Ah, they was <laughs> trash talking him. And he did a lot for that team. Like, he was MVP. He lo- first? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he locked down LeBron. So and they was like betraying him. So that's why he left. And like now Kawhi, he was like now the Spurs at home. Now they watching him, and he on his revenge. Oh, and the, I was he, thinking my you know who Bayless broke his ankle, right? <laughs> Zaza broke his ankle. 
Because I thought I was on the Pistons. Okay, but he was with the, <laughs> he was with the Warriors. Warriors. Yeah, when he you. did it. That's what I'm saying. It's a big revenge tour. And if he, he going to try to destroy them. Like, he really played like, he reminded me of like the Terminator type thing. Like, how he played. Like, he real weird. He's a robot. Yeah, he's like a real robot. He's a real like, fun yeah. guy. He has no emotion. <laughs> yeah, it's like. He has no emotion. It's like defense, 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 score, score, score. Like, he don't. And then they, they interview him and he say the most. Generic, like <laughs> calm. <laughs> yeah, every day, is serious. <laughs> People like, so what's after this? No, we're, we're going to Toronto. <laughs> like, <laughs> that Japanese one, Ni Hao. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah that, is yeah, that high? high. Yeah, yeah, that's high. <laughs> and I'm saying he just generic. The I'm finals saying. start uh, this Thursday, so we record on Saturday. So make an early prediction uh, for the finals and the series. Who wins? Uh, Warriors and Raptors. Warriors and five. <laughs> yep. This man disrespectful. They're not gonna... Warriors Raptors. I got it going six or seven. Who wins? I want Toronto to win. That's all I'm gonna say. What you got? What you got? I ain't gonna say who wins. We all know who we feel Warriors, like. Warriors Raptors. <laughs> Warriors and six. But uh, Warriors Bucks Bucks and seven. Oh my wow. god! Oh my god! What's wrong with this man? Bro, <laughs> that's what? not gonna work. Bro. What you see in the Bucks, you. bro? They not. They who not athletic. Be honest. He can't. He can't. Stop. Yes, he can. He can. KD was dodging that smoke from Giannis. In the okay, I'll give him this. If you, he can't shoot over him like he shoot over everybody else. But who would you rather guard him, K- Kawhi or Giannis? Kawhi, Kawhi Giannis on guarding KD. Kawhi. Uh, Giannis. Oh, He's longer. I know you oh, trying. Bro, trying. chill out, I'm bro. I'm serious. Longer pause. Kawhi. Yeah. Giannis can't even guard Kawhi. <laughs> That's what she said. Dunking on him. <laughs> Yeah, uh, bro. Let's move away from this. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> you tripping? Though. You you really would have Giannis play defense over Kawhi on it's KD? Man, yes. I don't think. But KD, bro, I think what? KD would dog Kawhi, bro. That's just me, though. That's dog man, what? When has he ever dogged him? Well, you know how much the Spurs used to beat the Thunder in the regular, like beat them. They used so to this beat is a, them. This is the new Kevin Durant. It ain't no new. He's played the same style of basketball. <laughs> he just it's just easier for him because he got nineteen other people that can shoot the ball. <laughs> <laughs> team full of shooters. Did you guys see the All NBA teams? Did yeah. yeah. Did you agree with them? All of them? Like the defensive one? Let's start, start, let's start with the All NBA. LeBron shouldn't have been on one, period. Ooh, LeBron should have made 13. And I'm a Lakers fan. Well, LeBron, LeBron made 13? 13. He made 13. So he first, deserved that, though. First team was. Because when he was playing, he was doing good. Yeah. He just, didn't play enough games. I think somebody I, I mean, else if it's took based on spot. games played, then no, he shouldn't have made it. But he didn't play enough games. In them games he did play, he the did. The first ball. team All NBA was Giannis. He was unanimous. He Harden, it. unanimous. He Curry, Paul George, and Jokic from Denver. See the Curry? No, Curry was balling. Come Curry, on. I mean, he was yeah. balling. Come on. Who else would you put in that spot then, if not Curry? For the regular season, I mean. Exactly. Russ. I, I might put Russ. Russ you was, said Russ? I'm man. the biggest Russ fan you'll find, but Russ was poo this year. Like Paul George carried the Thunder. That's I get true. that. That's true. Did Paul George make it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's fair. Okay. All team, all NBA second team, KD, MB, Kyrie, Kawhi, and Damian. Kyrie, yeah. Kyrie over Russ? No, I don't agree with that. I do. I don't. Russ can't shoot. What's that? Don't mean he don't had a better season. Kyrie can't lead a team, but we don't talk about that. Worst field goal percentage of his career. Nobody talks about how Kyrie I mean, cannot be the best player on the team. I've been telling people that for four years. He cannot be the best person on the team, but people don't want to believe me, and then now they, they see. Well, can Russ? I don't know. Probably not. Let him to the playoffs, but he can't. If Russ he could don't be Russ in the same boat as Kyrie too. They can't be the leaders on their team. But that's the new NBA though. Point guards cannot be your best player. What? Apparently, Steph Curry. Except, well, Steph is. Just, thank you. That's Steph the only is. exception, okay. it's, it's, and it's only because he got his ability to shoot the three, bro. Yeah, and Dame, I mean, Harden's kind of nah, a point nah, guard. Dame. Dame will never win I mean, on his own. Like I'm just, I want to see him succeed, but he will not win on his own. I was just basing on he, as basing the best player this year. Like if you put KD with Dame, they might make noise because <laughs> KD is the best, but Dame gonna get his. But when it's in this new climate of the NBA, your best player really got to be a, a shooting guard or a small forward. Really got, yeah, really got to be a forward, bro. Yeah. If it ain't, oh yeah, you have RB. to be like a and his hybrid. position is basketball, so you really your best player got to be six five plus. Yeah, yeah. I put it like that. And I'm not shoot. even gonna say yeah, and gotta shoot. You gotta be able to shoot. Unless you're Except for Giannis. And uh, all NBA third team: Gobert, Blake Griffin, LeBron, Kemba, and Russell. They just give Gobert uh, accolades. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, who else and, would you put up there? So, but but Emily Davis would be all Yeah, who got snub? Who got snub? Yeah, but that's what's like. Him making all NBA third you know team that, you know that just means like he got snuffed oh, in the All Star game though. Yeah, I'm gonna give you this because we didn't give you that. Clay he didn't got make the All Star game, so we give you that. Clay, Clay didn't get snuffed. Yeah. Clay the second best shooting guard in the league. Who, who are you gonna put him over? But who made it? Did Kemba. Luka Kemba. Kemba. No, why would Luca make it? Over Shoot, Kemba. Luca was. Let me tell you why over Kemba. Why? Don't disrespect Kemba. No, Kemba. Kemba's was a great talent. 
the Hornets Kendrick are trash, though. So. If you don't <laughs> you make, can't blame his team. <laughs> you got to pull your Hornets. team to the playoffs, bro. They was they was game say, behind. Say, Better game players home. have dragged worse teams to the playoffs. <laughs> LeBron the LeBron dragged Cleveland to the finals with Are we comparing LeBron Anderson Verge out. But my point is Kimba <laughs> he just said he got to be 6 5 and up. Kimba can't <laughs> make the playoffs. Yeah. Kimba can't make the playoffs. He can't be the best player on the team either. D'Angelo Russell led the Nets to the playoffs. Shout Did out he make D'Angelo the All-NBA team? No, no. no, he didn't. Nah. Let's put Klay Thompson on the Hornets. Do they make? Do they suddenly make the playoffs? No. Well, no, Klay's not. I mean. Depends, but I would just double him. Depends. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Klay Thompson. Replacing him with Kimba? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Nah, probably, probably not. I've probably never had this. I, I just <laughs> think Klay should have still beat Kimba. Blake. As he's on a winning ben, Who was that, Blake? That, yeah, Blake, Blake, Blake was balling in the regular season. See, they tried to make it like they put it in centers in the thing just because. Gobert could be off that list and put Clay in. They, it's not position. It's positionless basketball now, anyway. Yeah. So why even they got? They be like, oh, we got to put a center on here just because they my, just throwing centers on there. My thing with Clay is he's never the team's number one option to stop like how Kemba is. He's and, not the number one option because he got two other. That's what I'm saying stars. with Kemba. But who's guarding the number one player when if when you were the Warriors? Really should be. Well, they they do yeah. sometimes, but a lot of times if it's a guard, it's Clay. But see, people try to tell me about Clay being Clay is in. People try to tell me he's an elite defender, and I I got an argument against that. Oh, yeah. I think he's he an okay no defender. I for real, like, bro, because if he was elite, bro, why he don't lock up Harden? He can't. What you mean? I mean, Harden to give him buckets. It's harder like that, Harden. No. Josh Okogi guard Harden hey, better than up. Clay. It was one play. It don't, no, it wasn't just <laughs> one play. It was, was playing play. play. It was a that made him game. go on like a, a show <laughs> to like te- say how you can guard Harden. So like, you hate on somebody that's from the city. You a hater. You from Gwinnett. Okay. <laughs> it's just like. Wait, I know who could have took Kimba's spot. Even though know, he didn't make the playoffs either, but I think he's better. Who? Bradley Bill. Okay, okay. He got snubbed too. He was balling. And he was going crazy. Yeah. He was balling when uh, John Wall got hurt. I had him on my fantasy yeah. team. I already know. He was going crazy. Tell the man, stop hanging on Clay, though. Am I hating on Clay, though? Sick I just think Clay. But, but see, now you get Clay, when, when Clay is in the spotlight like he's been for this series, it's like Wait. you love him. But when he with KD and him, it's like he take, he take the back seat and he don't. He don't be doing what he usually do. He, he don't play the same. He's never the team. Like, he's he all started all hitting shots off the dribble now. I said, finally. Because usually, if he dribble, take, if he take more than That's one dribble, he's he more misses. touches. That's Who? what I'm saying. Who's who taking more than one dribble? Clay. Usually when he dribble, he misses. But now he's making shots off the dribble. I said, oh. Because they offense running through them two now. Clay's That's how it should always Clay's be. Clay's weaknesses aren't shown when you have that much talent around you. If What's you go his weakness? Dribbling. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he don't. Have, he ball, can't handle. Yeah, he can't handle. But he, when he when, without KD, he's been showing that he can a little bit. I mean, he's an NBA player. You know, he could dribble. Yeah, like, of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like he not. That's not his game. He not gonna do a bunch of flashy. He just doesn't have to dribble moves. Yeah, he's he just, just gonna shoot it. He just need a little space. He's he gonna, he he gonna shoot it. A little space. That's all he need. If Pascal play bad tonight, they will lose though. I'll say that because <laughs> he be. You saw the all NBA. Tossing. I mean, all defensive first team. Wait, one more snub. Oh, we got. Cat? Yeah. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. Not over so. Gobert. Over Gobert. I can take him over Gobert, but... Over Gobert. Cat, uh, again. <laughs> See, this is different. Dude. I think he's weak, and I think he's... He would never win either as the best player on the team. If they would have kept by. Jimmy, they would have made it to the playoffs. If they would have kept Jimmy? Yeah. Well, not made it, but it would have been close. Yeah, they would have been closer. Playoffs. Had a better chance. They still would have lost in the They trying to build time. around Cat, but Cat... <laughs> nah. Cat, Cat like AD. Cat and Wiggins are puss pies, but... You know, <laughs> Cat, Cat like AD. Yeah. Before he won the, uh, the first round series. AD a push part too. Yeah, the, both of them cannot be the best player on their teams to win. But that's because they not. That's not a forward. They, they, they are forwards, but they play like centers. They big. You know, they play like, you know, post, face up, all the stuff. And they can't and they can't pass. That's what it is. Who? AD and K. Okay, yeah. That's what it don't. Like they could pass like Jokic. Travel. You see him yeah. like <laughs> Nuggets. <laughs> the Nuggets look good because. This, he the best player, but he can also pass. Yeah. Is Giannis playing in his own shoe yet? Or is he got on Kobe still? Shoe. No, he has one. He does. Kobe. Oh, the Greek I don't know if he played. Yeah, he got him on the orange ones. Oh, okay. I didn't know if that was the Kobe. That's not the all-defensive first team. Giannis, Eric Bledsoe, Paul George, Rudy Gobert, and Marcus Smart. Garbage. Who are you taking on? Bledsoe or, or Smart could come off of Drew Holiday. I don't understand. Wasn't Marcus Smart hurt during the regular season? Yes, I feel like he was. Yeah. But Drew couldn't make it. Like, Drew got snuffed for real. He was Drew, second team. I think so too, though. Drew was off first, first team all defense last year, so he should have got it again this year because he didn't. None of his numbers really went down on guarding players. Based on your team success, right? That's what <laughs> I, they do a lot of that. It's like, oh, your team not in the playoffs, so we're not gonna put you on this list. We'll put you on second team though. <laughs> and all NBA, all rookie first team, 
Luca, Trey, DeAndre Ayton, Jared Jackson, and uh, Marvin Bradley the third. All top five picks. Yeah. All top five picks. Y'all agree? That makes sense. I yeah. can't. He don't know that <laughs> makes sense. Dang, last thing NBA, though. Y'all saw the NBA Awards. What about it? They, they, the, all the nominees they release. Oh, we can talk about it. I don't going. like how they do this anymore. <laughs> it's <not the> same. <laughs> it's <laughs> so commercial. Yeah, they I'm do it for the, the viewership. And Coach that. of the Year, Mike Budenholzer from the Bucks, Mike Malone, Denver Nuggets, or Doc Rivers from the Clippers. Doc. Where's Nick Nurse's name? Not on the list. I'm going to <laughs> <laughs> Nick I'm Nurse on. has the Raptors in finna be in the NBA Finals as a rookie coach. It's a, re- can't get no love. it's a regular season award. Coach Look at that right there. They did what, number two team in the well, East? Weren't they the first seed two. last year? Hmm? Weren't the Raptors like the number one seed last year? Yes. Yeah. So that they like regressed. No. <laughs> they were still on pace they with the same number. Though. So I got Coach Bud though. Coach Bud or Doc? Between them uh, two. I'm going to go Doc. I'm going to give it to my brother. I'm going go Doc, Doc too. NBA. The Clippers won't but I think, I think Bud yeah. will win, yeah. but I'm hoping Doc will. Uh, NBA Most Improved Player, De'Aaron Fox from the Kings, D'Angelo Russell from the Nets, or Pascal Siakam from the Raptors. D-Lo. They're going to give it to Pascal. D-Lo. But, yeah, I think Siakam going to win it. But D-Loading should get D-Lo. that shit. Siakam should win it because he, he barely played any minutes last, uh, last I mean, season. I mean, yeah, he got a story. And then he came from the T-League. Then that. suddenly he get more yeah. minutes and he playing so much better. But I still like D'Angelo Russell D-Lo. was given up on by my Lakers <laughs> for – a petty mistake. Not for basketball reasons. <laughs> he was good enough. They say he but, was a uh, locker room cancer. You can't have that in the locker room. Man. <laughs> DeAndre Russell. He, he was uh, a cancer snitched. to Nick Young. He wasn't Young. a cancer because he snitched. <laughs> he was saying, a cancer bro, to Nick Young. Who I'm cares saying, about bro, Nick Young? He wasn't going to end up with that girl regardless. And yeah. <laughs> and, like, I would have I would have got rid of Nick Young before I got rid of him. But they were trying to build team chemistry, so they got rid of him instead. And gave up they, their best point guard because Lonzo was trash. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage. Triple yeah. B. Poo. <laughs> he a Lakers fan too. Yeah, it's the other Lakers fan. <laughs> I'm a Lakers fan, but we should not have traded D'Angelo Russell. The crazy I was thing always is, a fan oh, no, of D'Angelo Russell. The Look, crazy, was he only 19? Yeah. The, the crazy yeah. thing is, he's Russell, gonna be immature. Cra- Ru- if you don't trade Russell, you don't get Kuzma. You don't get Kuzma without Russell. <laughs> yeah. You don't get Kuzma if you give up Russell. You don't give up Russell. So who would you rather have, D'Angelo Russell or Kyle Kuzma? Russell. Mm, Russell. I mean, I love Kuz, and he's from Michigan. Shout out Flint. <laughs> but, um, I would have kept Kuzma. D'Angelo Russell. I'd rather have Kuzma. That's just me, though. He was a second round pick. Or was it late first round or was it second round? Late Kuz. first round. Late 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 first round. Yeah. He had the playing time and opportunity to show what he, you know, what he had in L.A. because like nobody was expecting anything out of L.A. Yeah, because Karis LeVert, like, he came out of nowhere, too. He's famous. But Karis mm-hmm. LeVert. Because <laughs> his that's dad. Jared Levert, that's Jared LeVert. Grandson I mean, but, or something like that. Is it really? He, yeah. was, he oh, wasn't that man. good, though, Sam, in the beginning. Rest in peace, Jared Sam, LeVert. But you, you, uh, I'm telling you, all family names and clout, you will get an opportunity. And he just happened to be five when he got his opportunity. I didn't see Michael Jordan's son make the league. Michael Jordan's children did not count. I didn't see Michael Jordan's son make the league. for hooping. Like, D-Wade and LeBron and them son getting all the looks. But, I mean, like they're actually going to be good, though. Are they? LeBron's son, LeBron son really going to be good. Who? Hey, Melo's son going to be good. Who's son? Son. Yeah, Zaire going to be better than uh, Bronny. I don't see Zaire going to be better than Bronny. He older. He, he, I'm, not, I'm just saying <laughs> Zaire going to be better than Bronny. Zaire about to go to college almost. I'm and saying. Zaire lefty? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's a wrap. Yeah. He I'm excited I'm game. excited to see like players I like kids get in the league too. But I'm going to also feel old when they get there. I'm sad Kobe didn't have a son. He keep trying. He keep trying. Keep trying. Kobe, <laughs> Kobe, Kobe son, by the time Kobe get a son, I'm going to be 40, 50. Like, Bruh. by the time he, he keep can, trying, it's another girl. And another she said girl. she's willing to keep trying. I mean, shit, why wouldn't you? I mean, look at all that money. I know they right. can afford it, but it's like, dang. He's you making know, so much baby money. Baby number four, and she, it's another five. girl. Five? Baby number five? I think, I think she, she, is she pregnant again? Yeah, she pregnant four. again. Four. Yeah, she's pregnant, pregnant, pregnant right now with baby number four. four. Yeah, yeah. Is it four? Yeah. NBA defense player of the year. Gobert, Paul George, or Giannis? Paul George. Paul George. Paul George. Come on, hey. Don't be a hater, bro. Come on, hey. It's Paul George, bro. It's, you it's, it's, it's almost unanimous <laughs> for me. But conspiracy time, they might give it to Giannis if Giannis doesn't win MVP. Slick. But Paul George. Giannis going to win MVP, though. I can see that. But Paul George. You know the NBA likes to cater to people. NBA James said, Harden is more flashy than Giannis. But I do know true. they I do know they want Giannis to be the face of the yeah. NBA. He's got international appeal. He ain't got no type of 
uh, arrest or yeah. anything negative about him. Clean cut, no tats. He just looked well like a, a poster boy. Because you can't post James Harden beard on everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> NBA <laughs> six man, Montrez Harrell, Clippers. Sabonis from the Pacers or Lou Williams from the Clippers? It's Lou. Lou Will. It's Lou. Lou. He, he had one of the best six men. He just Lou, broke a record for six men. It's Lou, but Harrell is far. Yeah. Yeah. Harrell's a dog. Lou he Will. He plays role well, but oh, it's Lou, it's Lou Will, though. Yeah, yeah you saw that? You got two from the same two team. Two from the same team. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give it to the other. That, that's why they won't fight. They bench. Like, they're going to split it in half. They made, they coach. They're going to share it. It's going to be a coach. Lou not sharing that. Lou just broke the record for points off the bench. Lou got like three straight six men, three awards for six men. He's the best six man ever. Like, behind Manu, maybe. Then you yeah. got Jamal Crawford though. Yeah. Jamal Crawford. Um, yeah. He yeah. never won nothing with him. Yeah. Jamal he, Crawford and Lou never won nothing. Yeah, you are. And they both came out of high school. Last two, rookie of the year. Aiden, Doncic, or Trey Young. You know who I want to win. I want Trey Young to win, but yeah. you know they're, they're going to give it to Luka. They're going to give it to Luka, but I want Trey Young. Trey was balling. And Trey played better. Break, After Trey that All Star break, Trey yeah. out played Luka. And, you know, having uh, an opportunity to see Trey play in person this year, like Trey, yeah. Trey got a wetter. No, like, Trey him and John's Trey's the connection. only reason I'm going back next season. Him and John <laughs> Collins' connection, I like it. Yeah, him and John oh, yeah. Collins. John is Collins is a beast. Yeah, don't sleep on her. He could. I thought John Collins could have been up for MIP, but. Most improved player? Did he have MIP? Yeah. That was Siakam. D'Angelo Russell and um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Collins should have been on that. Collins should have been on that. He, he was robbed. I'm, I'm voting for Collins. Collins would get right a double, double double. He went like 23 games straight with a double double. He could have made All Star. Uh, I feel like he could have made All Star team Who? last year. Collins. Co- he, he was, was balling. Ne- next uh, season, I'm telling you, if the Hawks have a better season this year, yeah, they're gonna get bro. a lot of looks for Steve. You know who he reminds picks, me of? Bro. They better not blow it, man. <laughs> he reminds me of Kenyon Martin. Uh, like, Collins. Yeah, yeah, it reminds like his bunnies, like his hops, and he just like gets up and go get it. But like, he got that stroke Kmart coming to in too, though. And last, yeah, he he got a stroke. Yeah. last award MVP: Giannis, Paul George, or James Harden. Beard. Paul George lost it after the. Uh, I don't know what. Yeah, happened. he was doing good. You, he, he was on Paul stu- George. Yeah, he, he messed up his shoulder. He messed up. Yeah. yeah, he got hurt, and he was like, "Ah, well." Beard. I got James. I think James Harden. Was they too. Get, they're not gonna give it to him. though. James Harden should really have three MVPs. This award, first off, this award has been real tarnished for me since ever ever since LeBron didn't win unanimous. No wait, and they gave Melo a first place vote. The fact that Kobe doesn't have more than one is a travesty, so the award is bull after that. Yeah. <laughs> Kobe should have at least three MVPs. He just, yeah, he just said that yesterday. Steve Nash has two. <laughs> Steve Nash has two MVPs. Right. Steph Curry has two MVPs. But I, you know that one they Kobe gave Kobe wasn't one. the one Kobe deserved, right? Huh? Hey. Right. <laughs> it was for, that was for Chris Paul. Doesn't that was Chris, matter. Chris Paul was one MVP that year. Yeah, look that up. Chris Paul was going crazy. Episodes. Kobe should have won one but of the when years. But Steve Nash, Nash won, won them. Kobe, Kobe should have won him, and when Kobe, they finally gave Kobe his because they were like, "Oh, here." But Chris Paul deserved it. Kobe had to play with Smush Parker. <laughs> what you say? Smush Parker. What? what you say? I say we spent like forty minutes talking about basketball. Oh, it's not a time. I mean, because it's you know football yeah, know, season is ball. it. Ball is life, forever. <laughs> but yeah, bro, Kobe should have got more. I feel like LeBron. They just stopped trying to give him to him, cause, but he deserved a couple more. Yeah, LeBron can have another one. And uh, Rose deserved his. That was the only person I seen like really come in and like take the shine from LeBron for a minute. Like he was really that Boy, guy. That he would have never got his hurt. Was yeah, nasty. he was going crazy this season. Yeah. He would have never got hurt. That man was. I seen him play twice that season. That was crazy. He went crazy this season. His hops like yeah, that off was crazy. Two. And he could shoot. The three was like he could shoot down too. But I'm saying that he was shooting and driving and yeah. facilitating. I got he should have got an MIP. I got some rapid fire questions. Who? I, I do. Oh, he could have had a six-man vote, too, starting yeah. off, because he was Who? off the bench. Who? D-Rose. Oh, yeah, D-Rose, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was in the conversation until he got hurt. Yeah, yeah. But then he started starting, because Jeff Teague is yeah, yeah. buns. <laughs> I like Jeff Teague. <laughs> Jeff Teague. Where is Jimmy Butler going? I got Jimmy going to the Clippers. Lakers, Clippers, or Nets. That's my top three teams. I think he's going to be in New York somewhere in New York. I think he's going to be in with Brooklyn. Yeah. I think him I and D'Angelo Russell either. could be good. Brooklyn, I don't want Butler wants the money, bro. That's Ooh. what he said. He wants I don't want him going Butler? anywhere with players I like. <laughs> <laughs> don't go to Brooklyn. Don't go to the Lakers. You go anywhere else. He... Who else you got, boo? Uh, do y'all care about KD on social media calling out Chris Broussard? I think cap, he, cap, I cap, cap, cap. I think he looks really, that was funny. really, really, really like a, yeah, like a. He defended he himself. Like a, he looked like a real. He defended himself. Trying to find all that all man long about him talking about him. They text for hours, and so KD had to say, Cap, you don't even got my number. Like, why Why he I'm saying, bro, if a 50-year-old be like, we've been texting for hours, we might have been texting on, like, he was DMing him. I'm saying, either way it go, y'all had a conversation, so why is it that big of a deal for you to come out and say something? Because. LeBron does do it too now, but I'm saying, I get it when you're trying to check somebody. 
But when KD been responding on everything, KD tweet fans back. KD do this. He's human. He, he can't respond. Yeah, yeah. No, hey, that's true. That's true. He Why? Why do you Your care? Be on the court. <laughs> respond he on the court. right now. He so, can't I wouldn't even care, bro. You know who? I'd be respond? like, you, you seen Step Brothers? This morning I woke up and I made three hundred fifty thousand dollars <laughs> for one game. One game. People talking. It's not about the money, but for me, it's about the money because I wouldn't have cared. I would not respond to anybody. Well, KD got money. You know what I'm saying? So why you care about what somebody else say? Because they said don't. money is not like, it's the root of all evil. It don't like satisfy you. Okay, you know? but but you're going back and forth with, with people you literally don't know. Nobody's. Because he's, 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 he's very he's soft. He's, he's sensitive. He's, he's, like, he's, he's emotional. Sensitive. He's mentally weak. Hey, everybody has feelings. He's human. <laughs> he's human. <laughs> he's human. Oh, I don't have feelings. He, he defends weak. himself on Twitter. He social media. Weak. Everybody, you got a Twitter, right? If somebody says something about <laughs> you, you're going to defend yourself, right? I'd be like, okay. All right. So he's saying, Does it stop my chair? You don't have my number. Does it stop my? I'm not stop my Honestly, bro, I don't go back and forth with people I don't know. Why? Why? Why would I? I just had this conversation yesterday. Like, what's the point of going back and forth about something? I can't change your opinion on that. True. <laughs> He's just defending himself. Goodbye. Last thing I got on, on basketball: Drake versus the Bucks. What about Drake? Oh, with all them complaining and. Be worried than they doing. I ain't like how Coach Bud came at my boy Aubrey. South. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't. Like That's like why they either. gonna lose tonight. So you saw the the, the uh, owner daughter had a push a T uh shirt yeah. and, and you saw what he did. He's he like Drake Drake was Drake funny. made her up his profile yeah. fit. <laughs> he was like, I still got OBO tickets for you for OBO fest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he funny. I mean, it's all It's good for the league. Yeah, it's good for the league. Yeah, it's funny. To me, I don't feel like it's a bad thing. And people are like, why is Drake on the court? It's because he has a position with he's the team. He's an ambassador. And he's, he got courtside well, seats. So and then he hooked up their no, practice bro. facility. You know how I mean, no Spike to, Lee. Two chains be on the court. He's famous. <laughs> they, you get perks. It's okay. And for them $20,000 seats, I should be able to interact with you. Look out, well, man. He ain't paying for no seats. I want y'all to look out. They, they just gave him a 750K jacket, too. The Bucks player's going to confront Drake tonight. It's coming. Who cares? They're going to, like, a loose ball or something. going to, like, just dive at it. So then Drake goons come out the cut. No, nah, it won't be like that. Chubb and Chubb right there with him. That's you know that's Drake uh, pull up man. You know Chubb like Drake. The best way to get at Drake, if you are a Bucks player, is to do the same thing Reggie did to Spike. Go off on the court. Let your act. Let your and then work I will stare him court. down. Yeah, as I'm it, like as I'm going off. Yes. Reggie shut Spike ass up. Yeah. Period. By playing, not by getting in his face, right. not by you don't got to say nothing to him. I just look at him. I'm like, like, oh okay. <laughs> Watch me get these buckets. Uh. Some NFL news. Patrick Peterson suspended six games for a PED. Free PP. <laughs> <laughs> NFL SU. What's the substance? Do we know? Uh, it's probably. Like, like, like I, I think it was Adderall. No, it was no, Adderall. It wasn't weed. Oh. No. They're not supposed to take Adderall for some reason or whatever. But. I saw he tried to cover it. Black Saints and trade for him. Hmm? Yeah, because if he'd have been suspended for us, yeah, I'd be mad. That sucks. That's like. Sam, bro, I wouldn't even be mad about being suspended when I'm on a team that's sorry. I don't care if Kyler Murray coming. We're not about to win no time soon. <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you don't know. You might be the next Sean McVay. Yeah, I'll be out of there. <laughs> oh, good block. Maybe they'll appeal and he'll get like. Uh, Gerald McCoy cut from the Buccaneers. Come to the Falcons. I, we talked about this like, like Gerald McCoy is going to the Falcons. Uh, the Falcons just Falcons. signed the Saints' former defensive tackle, Tyler Davidson. He's a traitor. He's a mark now. Wait, how would we just get on Tyler Davidson with Gerald McCoy? Because he said he'd come to the Falcons. Oh. So I'm telling you, he's not coming to the Falcons. Why not? They say they got interest in him. <laughs> he's not taking no... I mean, he, he made a lot of money. He, he said take he a wants to cut. play for a winner. But y'all and not a winner. What? <laughs> Goes to New England. When, when the Falcons <laughs> healthy, bro, you know they good, bro. Wait, Wait, real. Are they? Well, I've been hearing yes. about the Falcons talking about... They talking about the Falcons going to win the division. I'm like, win the division, win the Super Bowl. I'm like, bro, y'all need to relax. Y'all just bro. got swept. They were banged up all last year, I don't bro. care. We was banged up. Nobody said, gave us excuses. No consistent running game. What oh. happened in the Super Bowl? That's all I want to know. I mean, that was you just the Falcons fan, Raiders fan. To both teams. Like, why do, why do I got to keep explaining myself? So he a die easy fan. <laughs> he a die hard fan. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I mean. They not it, bro. When they it's not okay. banged up, they straight, bro. For real. Yeah, okay. Nah. Hope Deion's straight. That's all I care about. Yeah, Deion's straight. That's all I care about. Y'all really just need to let him leave. And, and, who, and let Julio leave, bro. Y'all yeah, just let him go. Y'all That's wasting time. No, we not. Because him, Sanu, and That beautiful really. stadium just to be sorry. Like, I don't <laughs> get it. We needed a new OC anyway. Steve Sarkeesian was so butt. Like, we didn't need him. Like, he sucked. Y'all y'all missed y'all window. Y'all had one season with uh, Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan. They, oh, bugging. They didn't want him. I mean, what they was going to do, make him the head coach? Because he wasn't. Yeah. He knew he was going to get a head coaching job. Last thing in the film, Edelman contract extension. He's going to be signed with the Patriots for the rest of his career. 
or deserve. Two more years. He's five for them. Great. I year. think them two Brady's more years five. is when Brady's going to retire, though. Yeah. Brady say he's going to play till he's 45. Nah, no, Brady's going until 50. No, I don't think go to 50. This is Brady last season. Hey. Nah. No. He got two more years. Man, it, man he's not complaining all them seasons. I don't think they come out the AFC, though. This is Drew Brees last season, too. Yeah. No, it's, it's his last season. We won a championship. Shout out University of Michigan for Tom Brady, though. Go blue. <laughs> go blue. Oh, do you saw what, uh, switching the music real quick? So, Wait, one more sports thing oh, since Michigan. My bad. <laughs> but no, speaking of Michigan, oh, shout Jaron out. Howard. Yeah, shout out to Michigan for hiring Jaron, Jaron Howard. Howard Fab Five Michigan. is back. So, Daniel yeah. Rose like, this is going to bring me and Chris Webber together. Like, I didn't. <laughs> Bruh, them, Wait, who's the, the reason why they're not together? Chris. Because he taught that timeout. That's why no, that's not, that's not the timeout. I, I thought it was bigger than that. Chris didn't want to admit to taking that money. Oh, with the... Uh, and, you know, they got all their records erased yeah. and all that other stuff. And Chris kind of was, like, distant and all that stuff. So. You know, yeah, they was paying them to play. But Chris and Jalen already made up. And, uh, like you said, Jalen already said, this is going to bring everybody back together. And I believe it. So, hopefully this is the start <laughs> to Chris Michigan getting yeah, their banners not, back. He used to not... Like, they did a Fat Five special. He didn't even participate because the money and because he's still embarrassed. And that's... This bro. sound like some music, uh, music group beef. Music. <laughs> you don't have no timeouts and you call the timeout. I did that against you. Yeah, you did. I was like, oh my I'm God. saying 2K got it on the game. Yeah, it's realistic. But <laughs> it's just when he, it happened to you in real life. But somebody told him to do it. But he didn't just do it on his right? own. But it's still the. You're like 19, 20? But yeah, they're college. He was yeah. college. Yeah, I'm saying. So like. That was, you weren't even born when that happened. No. <laughs> you born, born in the year 2000, buddy. Oh, we exposed were my you age. Born? Hold on. Wait, were you born? I'm born in 96. I was alive, I think. They won no, in 96? No, they was in the league already. That's cow. So you, you weren't even alive, bro. Chris Webber came in the league in 98. Kobe came in 96. Oh, did he? I don't yeah, know. You with Kobe? I was alive. I mean. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you weren't alive either. <laughs> I'm 98. <laughs> I know. Damn, y'all, y'all. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you should guys see what uh, Megan Thee Stallion had to say about Uzi and Cardi. Uzi and Cardi. She was right. She What'd she correct. say? Uh, she said, the main I, quote girl, is, oh, if I was out there making little noises like Uzi and Cardi be making, they would not rock with that. Of course, that's just the quote. If you read the article, she goes, Little like, noises? I mean, Nobody want to hear a girl like, get on the track and be like, eh, what? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Huh? You just can't. Uh, what? Huh? Not, uh, really, the only two that can do that. No. Oh, yeah. The main two. I feel yeah. like. It. Yeah. Like ad libbing or no, just you know and they like, tried yeah. to like, making noise. They, you know the way Cardi talked with the baby voice and stuff. She like, if I had the voice and was doing mim- yeah. Cardi's overrated. Cardi overrated. Cardi from the South Side. No, I thought you were talking about Cardi B. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. My bad, my bad. No, no, no. <laughs> Cardi B. Say Cardi overrated. <laughs> Playboy Cardi. You know. Yeah, Playboy Cardi. <laughs> 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 Man, we like Playboy Cardi. But now nah, she said she still rock with him. She was just saying. No, nah, I get what she's saying. Yeah, I agree, it's yeah. facts, though. The only rapper that's, I feel like female rapper that do kind of the same type of style is kind of Rico Nasty. But Rico Nasty got bars. I feel like, you know how... But man, when, when, uh, uh, when a rap first introduced, it was like all about bars. And I think, I know there were female women rappers back then, but like right now in this yeah. period, they care about bars she, and all her, that. Her point but is, think, why know, the women hold to a higher standard than men? But I said, it's because there's so many men in the genre that you got to do something different. Yeah, that's what Everybody I'm saying. Everybody can't be. I think as women, more female rappers come into the game, they're going to evolve their sound. Yeah. They're going to change. sound like Uzi and Cardi. So I think like over a period of time, like a change is going to come. This is their style. Yeah. It is what it is. Like, not a fan. You're not a fan of Uzi or Cardi? Not a fan. Uzi or Playboy Cardi? No. What about I mean, they got like, yeah, that shit rock. <laughs> <laughs> a rock. I'm not even going to hold it. I ain't even dog. listen to it. Cash it, cash cash it is my the, shit. The new music. I've been, the new music, I've been on this money man. You got to take off called Paranoid. I had to. No, you it's don't. that five. <laughs> no, you don't. Money Man Paranoia is what I've been on lately. YG just dropped for real, for real. I'm on Igor, man. Yeah, Igor, Igor is Igor. Igor. I like Igor. Igor. Miss, uh, DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled dropped. Yeah. DJ Khaled Project got a couple bops on there. Money Bag Yo got a Money Bag Yo dropped. Mm-hmm. I didn't listen to his yet. I'm and then Thug Nim just came out to London. The what London y'all think about good. that? The new Steve Lacey. Y'all listen to that. Y'all listen to Steve Lacey. Who is that? Steve Lacey's good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out Steve Lacey. <laughs> oh, wait. He got dreads? No. Is his t- what's the cover look like? It's red. No, nah, this it's one. It's the Apollo the one. XX. I yeah, yeah. Oh no, nah, that's smooth. That. Steve Lacey, smooth. He rap or he sing? A man, Macy. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's like both. Producer sing. He's like yeah. <laughs> you ain't got yeah, a mic. Yeah, yeah, that's talk. a good comparison. Yeah, you can hear him. <laughs> yeah, for real, that's a good comparison. Amen. Shout out to that new Wiz oh, too. All that Jay Z is now available on Apple Music. Uh, his music except uh, Reasonable Doubt is now available on Apple and Music. And Diggle Hole. 
the single off of his album. Some Kingdom of them you gotta buy the whole thing. Um, my UGA friends through Mace drop his project. It's called uh, Borrowed Time. I like the intro. Mace. Oh, Mace. oh, okay. I'm like no, Mace Mike. the preacher. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this man really got an account. <laughs> and then uh, what else came out? Wiz. We just dropped a couple weeks ago. We already talked about. Oh, y'all talked one. about. I wasn't here. Oh, the, <laughs> shout out. Wiz. Chance the rapper dropped the track. Did y'all hear? <laughs> I wasn't here. Shout out. Wiz. Chance the rapper dropped the track called Groceries. Is it good? Yeah. It's, it's it's cool. Um. Oh, shout out Levin Kelly on some new uh, R and B stuff too. Talked about the song Emoji. J Cole. I don't know if I like that song. Well, I've listened to it a couple times, but I don't know if I like it yet. That's straight. Jacquees dropped a new song. I didn't listen. Anybody cares to listen to Jacquees? Did you guys notice on SoundCloud? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Pissy Pamper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they about to drop it. Yeah, uh, they gonna drop uh, it. Young Nudie, it's a Playboy Cardi song. It's not gonna be on. <laughs> it's gonna be on Cardi <laughs> project. It's gonna be on Cardi project. No, yeah, that's what I think. And new check was two new singles. Yeah, okay. uh, don't know them people. <laughs> <laughs> Showing your age. Yeah, man. pretty much, pretty much, pretty right. much. And then uh, Yellow Beezy, the man that made it's on. That's on me, baby. He dropped a new song called Rich Mother Effer. It's pretty straight. I like that song. Yeah. Um, and that was pretty much it on the music front. Oh, shout out Young Heartbreak back home in Saginaw. That's my cousin. Shout out to man. I'm working. <laughs> I'm trying. You've been saying that for weeks, though. I know, bro. It's not my fault. Weeks, bro. Like, when, when is it coming? When is it coming? Uh, I, I mean, I've been seeing the uh, cover art. Like, I'm teasing us. Why are you playing with us? Maybe next weekend it can be the intro track to the podcast. Mmm. And shout out my cousin Speedy who just dropped his music album, music video. Back home, sagging, I stand up. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, I gotta represent for the sag, bro. Go ahead, put on. Go ahead, put on. <laughs> Don't even mad. Gotta get my folks they love, man. Go ahead, put on. Love Before we do our, our top five, give us the Game of Thrones review real quick. Game of Thrones. You know, I'm not no Game of Thrones person that been watching for years. Like I just started watching like two months ago. I finished it, I binge watched, I caught up. Is it that good? I think, yeah, it, it was that good. But I think they rushed this last season. There wasn't enough episodes. I think they killed the Night King too fast. And I think that um, the ending was, it was, a, I mean, it should have been more action. Like, nobody died in the last episode, for real. Like, nobody was really getting killed. Except the uh, Baynaris. She got killed. If you, That's a spoiler alert. I don't care. I mean, it is what it it's is. It's not spoilers when it's on TV. Okay. So, <laughs> she, um, she could have died differently. But I like how they let her like get sent off with the dragon carrying her, in this with the foot or whatever. Yeah, symbolism. And um, I like how the dragon didn't kill John because he him and her are related. He can't kill Targaryen people. That's the out of ten. Would you rate it? Game of Thrones. That's the whole season. Season, season eight? eight. Yeah. Seven six. It wasn't the best season at all. Mace, who'd you rank Game of Thrones? The best season Last was season. season six or seven. Out of ten. Five. Out of ten. Five. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Six, but, I, but what would you rank season six and seven? Six is like an eight yeah, and a half. Yeah. Seven is like five. <laughs> <laughs> you not like season seven either? Five. Well, I definitely, I didn't like it at first when it first dropped, but I definitely don't like it now because everything that they did in season seven got negated by season Yeah, eight. it didn't matter. Yeah. I could do that. Yikes. Like they went up to go get the white to bring her to Cersei to convince Cersei to fight with them. Okay. <laughs> He, he don't want to hear about it. You know what I'm saying? So top five, top five, top five, top five, top five. Who we want to do this week? You listen to YG? No? Sometimes. You listen to Jay-Z? Jay-Z? Yeah. You listen to Lil Wayne? Mixtape Lil Wayne? Um, of course. Uh, let's not do that one. Let's not of do course. that one yet. We'll do that one next week. What are y'all doing? It's, it's top Jay-Z. five with Jay-Z, top five albums. You ready? Jay-Z, top five albums? Uh, I'm going to be trash at that. Oh, Brandon, you don't know too much about Jay-Z? Nope. Tough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do Wiz. He's a goat. You want to do Wiz? Yeah, Wiz do Wiz. Do Wiz. We can do Wiz. Wiz. Mixtapes or albums? Wiz, right? Yeah. He got mixtape. Yeah. Cushion uh, Origins is a mixtape. Everybody <laughs> relax. Uh, <laughs> 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 what? You that mixtape? Cabin Fever. We doing mixtapes and albums or just mixtapes or just albums? Do both. Mixed together. You should do yeah. Both. This okay. is all of them. Yeah, that's fair. All of his work. All of his body of work. Wiz Khalifa. We we'll give it to our guests. You, you seem pretty. Top five. Adamant about Wiz. Shout out Wiz. Um, Dang, I don't know. And hold on, let me pull up the album list. Yeah, I had to do it too. Cushion OJ got to be up there. 
But it's not my favorite. I didn't like Kiss No J like that. No Mike Mays. It was cool though. I like songs. <laughs> it's not like my thing. favorite. Although I do fuck with Cushion Orange Juice. Um, okay. For me, top five. And add it. In the, am I going in order? Yeah, just uh, do just like to, one through you five. You do five to one or one to five? I'm going to do five to one. All right, bet. I'm going to do five to one. Uh, it, five. I'm going to go with Cabin Fever 2, the mixtape. Mm-hmm. At four... I'm gonna go with O N I F C the album. At three, I'm gonna go with Rolling Papers two. You like that one? I love Rolling Papers two. You like Demar? I like two. <laughs> at two, Cushion Orange Juice, and at one, Taylor Alderdice. I can respect that. That's a mixtape. Yeah. yeah. I had that on my phone, like all my mixtapes be gone. For me, um, honorable mention twenty eight grams. Number five, I'm gonna go. Um, well, actually, <clears throat> my no, I'm just going order my number one and then go down. My number one is um. People hated this apparently. I didn't. What? Rolling Papers one was my was one of my favorite Wiz like, projects. Rolling like Papers one. Like he didn't even like Rolling Papers one. We'll go ahead. I, think that was, I, I, that was I mean, it was mainstream, too. but I liked yeah, it. Well, my I number two. One. That's why I didn't <laughs> like it. It was made wasn't true to himself. True, I can do that. I like <clears throat> Black Hollywood was good. Yes, it me. was. Black, Black Hollywood was my second good. favorite. Um, my third favorite is Twenty Eight Grams. Good choice. Fourth favorite Cabin Fever, the one? first one. Yikes. <laughs> that's one with uh, that's Yikes. one with phone numbers it and is. uh it is yeah I, I like that project and then my fifth favorite I'm gonna either go Cabin Fever two or Flight School oh you went way back yeah Flight School is one of my school. favorites too yeah uh, my number one is Cabin Fever three really yeah I rock with that one I hated that <laughs> one I thought it ruined the Cabin Fever name uh I, I really I, rock, I like the way he ended I like the last three track, uh, yeah. three tracks uh Gangsta, Gangsta one on one and left and uh Number yeah. two, uh, Rolling Papers. You know, <laughs> Rolling Papers is legit. Hitters on there. Number three. No, me. no, wait. You said one? Yeah. Oh, no. I Rolling like Papers one, one is <laughs> terrible. The second one was, I, got, I downloaded the second one. Some of the songs. Yeah, I like Sex. Uh, BOK okay is one of my favorite number songs. Number three, Black Hollywood. I like that. Yeah, yeah Black uh, Hollywood. Number four, you yeah, probably not going like, to rock with this one, but I like Laugh Now, Fly Later. That is the shit. I like that one. Yeah. And number five is uh, Khalifa. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I rock with Khalifa, yeah. too. Facts. Come on. That, come that on. one slept on. You gotta redeem yeah. yourself from last week, bro. One I got Can I call it Black Hollywood. I was gonna call Audible. Black Hollywood's your number one? I'm gonna go yeah. Audible. Yeah, I was gonna switch Black Hollywood with Rolling Papers. That's yeah. my number one. I like Black Hollywood. Two Rolling one. Papers one. Yeah. Three. Um Owen IFC. I like that. It's three. And number four, Kevin Fever one. And five, Khalif. Oh, you listen to Wiz? Yeah. Got a little Wiz knowledge in there. And my favorite Wiz song of all time is The Thrill off Brandon After Rogan. Oh, I got a singles on like a bunch of it. Yeah, I like Star. The, the I like the Hero Freestyle. Yeah. Uh, off 28 Grams, I like Man and two other songs. I ain't gonna lie, I like the whole 28 Grams. I can't even yeah. care. It's, <laughs> had, it is hard. I had the whole tape. <laughs> Flight School, I like Boarding Pass, Miss Right For Now. And uh, his Deal or No Deal one. I like this playing off of that one. Uh, Owen IFC probably mess with. Uh, it's nothing. The one with two chains. It's nothing. Yeah. Or so. up in it. Up in it is. Yeah, I, I like up in it. And, uh, <laughs> up in it is the shit. I like. Uh, I like remember you. Remember you. The weekend. It was the recent. Yeah. It was a single. Twenty eight grams. Uh, That's an ounce. Letter. <laughs> I love letter. And then all shit is a banger too, like a club banger. Yeah. I, I like incense in uh, on a plane. Yeah, I like on a plane. Yeah. On a plane yeah. off yeah. of uh, twenty eight grams. We farm on laugh now fly later is the shit too. We farm. I like off of that. I like um. I like figure Letterman. it out and playing for you. Playing for yeah, you. And Letterman. Out, yeah. yeah, but that's a you can ride that one the whole way through. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what about the new one? Which I like off fly times. The new one. I like all the songs. Yeah, I listen to that. Yeah. You gotta listen to it. The song with uh, Ty Dolla Song, "Back to Winner." I think any any feature with Ty Dolla Song go hard. Ty Dolla Song is the feature king. Him and Sway Lee. Yeah, him and Sway Lee got it. Oh, the future what? Feature King. Like, oh, Future King. Feature. It's like. It used to belong to Wayne. 
You remember when Wayne was like on Everybody Future? Wayne, T Pain, <laughs> Drake had a little run where he did it. Gucci, well, that Wayne run was crazy. Gucci did it, did a run. Gucci J. did it twice. Run. Yeah, J Cole on his now. Yeah. Yeah. Gucci did it twice before jail. Before and jail after. after. <laughs> Travis on the future, future run. I mean, he just they gonna put him on the hook because <laughs> Quavo used to be it. Well, Quavo a hook man too. Quavo and Travis a hook man. Yeah. Who y'all favorite me go? Quavo my favorite too. Yikes. Uh, oh, he not offset. your favorite. Who your favorite? Yikes. Offset. Who you got? He like take off. Take, take off, take <laughs> off snaps every yeah. time. Take off snap every time. Yeah, I'm going Quavo though. Yeah. I like, I like the leaders. I like Offset. <laughs> like, Beyonce that warning, the new guys. Twenty one Savage was hard. <laughs> offset, rap wise, Offset, but I think he, quarters, Offset I is, like, is the uh, bigger starter group. Because he, because of who he's dating. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Because of Cardi. That'll boost you. Take off got the hardest bars. You got the best flow. Who had the best project when all three of them had the they, uh, solo? Offset. They was all trash. Um, <laughs> <laughs> stick together. Stick together. Uh, he said stick together. <laughs> I mean, Quavo was the worst out of the three. I'd give he you just that. had a lot of features. No, Quavo? Yeah. I like Quavo's. Um, maybe. Uh, a couple songs. I wasn't too much of a fan of Take Off, although I think he's my favorite one. I think he has the most bars. So I guess I give it to Offset that had the best. Offset had the best album. <laughs> It was it was co- it was cohesive and it made sense and he he dropped the latest so he had more time to work on it yeah but you could tell he like yeah hype around his too that was the yeah. time with uh him and Cardi but uh, like takeoffs uh, had last memory and Casper them tracks Casper right yeah. offsets I liked um clout of course is the single but he had a song called Wild Wild West with Gunna yeah Legacy how did I too. get here with J Cole is hard Legacy with Travis is hard yeah you know what I'm saying but Quavo was just Bops, you know, because he, he the chorus man, so all his stuff got good beats and him just saying stuff on the chorus. Foolishness. Yeah, and I guess that's where we, you know, it's a long episode. Topics? Yeah, this is probably our longest one. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but now we spent like 40 minutes on the NBA one. Yeah, but I mean, we we owed it to him to give him something, so you just got to cut up true, and give him, get him, just do a bunch of clips because the odds of somebody watching the whole thing is probably, you know. A bunch of clips. I go, <laughs> talk to me. <laughs> you got any more topics? Nah, uh, that's it. Thanks for having me on. And this concludes episode 17 of the Pack Life Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel Squad. at Pack Life Podcast, of course. And uh, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us at Pack Life Pod uh, on Twitter, Instagram. We are, we are on Facebook. We're out here. You know, anything else you guys want to leave the audience with? Cut through. Respect teachers. (laughs) (laughs) Period. We out of here.